What's up YouTube, back here again with another video. And today I'm gonna to take a little break from uploading uh, build, the build videos and then those parts in this series, which are coming along well. I have them edited, they'll be up soon, but I got a couple things in the mail for upcoming builds, so I figure we'll take a look at the Esheen TX05. Now, I have a three inch micro build coming in, uh, cause I kinda wanted, I have a couple, but they're kinda beat up and old, and I wanted to kinda put together a nice fast one with some OSD. Now, shame on me, I guess, for not reading all the way. Um, this camera, the reason why I bought it is because it said that it had OSD, and I just assumed that you can hook, volt, you know, it had a voltage line in and it would show you your voltage, but that was dumb. I don't even know why I thought that. Uh, what this camera is, if you have a, a board with OSD, like if you have a, like a tiny cube or something like that, you can use this all in one camera for your OSD. Uh, it has a video in and a video out line, so it, it can accept, you know, the camera signal will go into the board and back out, and I'll show you that. But uh, the build I'm putting this on, <laughs> I don't have that feature. Uh, it's actually would fit on something else, but anyway. So we'll take a look at this camera. Uh, either way, take the OSD feature out of it, which is a cool feature in itself. It does have um, some low, it's a 0.01 milliwatts, 5 milliwatts, 25, 50, 100, and 250. This is 50 milliwatts stronger than the TX-03, which I thought was kind of cool. So that feature in itself makes it worth it. Plus it has this uh, dipole antenna. So we'll open this up. You know, there's OSD, 4M1, 72 channel, blah, blah, blah. So we're just going to unbox it, and I'll power it up. Here's your little instruction booklet. So I have to prep it for the build anyway, so I figured we'll open it up and take a look. So it comes with this little phone thing, but it shows you a 72 channel, and you're going to have to read this because the power settings are displayed in a different way because there's so many of them right here. It's displayed by numbers now, not the lines on the LED screen. So definitely take a look at that because this is a little different. So let's take this guy out of here. All right, there's the camera. And it gives you this little phone bumper guard, I guess if you're gonna put it in a build and you want some protection, maybe that's kind of cool. I don't think I'm gonna be using this. Right, and lens caps in the bottom and that's it box is empty all right let's see what's the field of angle this is an NTSC version 120 degree field of view which is pretty good 600 TV line standard for these guys 400 meter range and your all your good information there's your channel band frequency chart all right so now if we look here your traditional ones are gonna have three wires, or not even, they'll just have two wires, your power signal, right? You power this up, and this is your camera and transmitter all in one, but this one has the video in and the video out. So the main reason why I decided to make this video is because if you are not gonna use the LSD feature, you have to short those, these cables together to, otherwise it's gonna be looking for a signal through these lines. So I'm going to hack off this connector because I'm not gonna use it. And save that for something else. Those connectors are always good to have. And what I'm going to do just to try this out is we're going to solder on a micro low C connector just for the time being, just to test it out. Just to see what we got here. All right. Lucy connector. Now I'm not gonna. Like I said this is just a test. All right, there's power. Or ground, excuse me. And there's our power. All right. Now we're gonna bring in my little test screen. I ordered this watch. I figured if I crash in the, if I crash in a field, 
then I could just kind of use this to check my video as I'm walking instead of constantly put my goggles on but that's subject for another video I guess all right let's power this guy on now be careful if you're doing this guess what I just put the wrong connector <laughs> all right let me change the connector be right back all right so now we're ready to power this guy up let's give it a test to see where we're at cool all right now you can already see that it is outputting a signal but the signal should be black Let's, uh, let's see, A1. Let's change this to A1. These are cool, little cool, cool little screens, but they are really small. You can, definitely can't fly. All right, A1. Now you can see it's black, all blacked out. So now the camera itself is putting the signal through the yellow the video signal and looking for the signal coming back through the green so from what I understand we should just have to short these out we should just have to short these out and we should get the transmit video solder on there just to hold it and, I, and I'll make this all much much prettier and much cleaner when we get to actually installing it <clears throat> all right there we go now we got video boom awesome all right so that works now let's take a look at let's take a look at all right, A. Now you see how the one that one is flashing. So we got A. It's your chat, your band, your channel is the. So if we go to A. All right, so you need to hold it for like two seconds to change to A two. So now we can kind of get a better idea. So now A, the blinking one is actually your output. So this is outputting in. Uh, I believe one is like 0 0.01 milliwatt. Yeah, 0 0.01 milliwatt, so you won't stomp on anybody. So now if we hold this button for a couple seconds longer, now the A is flashing, so we can change band. B, E, F, R, U, O, L, H, A. All right, so now we can let that lock in. All right, now if we hold this even longer. All right, now we got that quick flash in one. So now two, that should be 20, uh, what's that? Two is five milliwatt. Hold this again. Pass the band, all right. Three is now going to be 25 milliwatt. So that's a more normal setting. All right, pretty cool. So we got band, channel, band, and output range. So pretty sweet, uh, nice and simple. I mean, these cameras are pretty cool. If you have a micro with an OSD in and out, like I do have one, so I, I might try to maybe put this on there, whatever the case. But you know, it's a pretty cool thing. These Ishin tiny cameras are what they are. Uh, they're pretty pretty cool for what they are so that's it that's all i got for the ishin tx05 i'll use it and we'll come back with a review but this is just an unboxing and an overview how it works uh thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one